All right, time to hire. What's up guys, Jason here, aspiring entrepreneur and online consultant. And in this video, I'm gonna walk you through how to post a job to Upwork. If you've been following along in this series, I'm going from A to Z on how to hire a freelancer on Upwork.com. If you're just joining me, be sure to check out the YouTube channel for more videos on how to write a description, find freelancers, and all that fun stuff. But today, right now in this video, we're going to go through filling out that Upwork form and hitting that live button to find the perfect freelancer for your job or my job in this instance, which is I'm looking for a blog writer. So let's dive in. All right, so we're here in my Upwork account. If you haven't signed up for Upwork.com, it's a great place to find freelancers. It's a really big marketplace. There are other sites out there like freelancer.com or uh, you could go over to you know Copywriter Today, which is more of a, a, a done for you service. But this kind of process will apply to almost any site, but Upwork is the big one, so that's what we're going to work with here. So you could just start by going and posting a job. It's a really simple inference to use. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to keep talking because my internet connection is apparently really slow right now. Actually, Upwork is having some issues. And once you click through to post a job, this is what's going to show up. So. It's kind of a primer that they ask for before going into the job description. So I'm just gonna come in here and type in blog writer. And you'll see that it's came up with a category for me, writing and blog writing. Okay, great. I want to hire a freelancer. I want to hire more than one. Now, depending on your project, if you want to do kind of an audition thing, and I really recommend doing this if you have the budget, that's key, if you have the budget, to hire one to uh, two to three and then see which one does the best job because you you can only do so much in interviews so i'm going to say three type in the skills needed so i'm just going to type start typing in anything you think of okay writing yeah i need a writer and i'll just keep typing in writing until i get everything so i'm going to type this up real quick all right and magically there are all the tags that I've chosen to use. Since I'm looking for a writer, I want someone who speaks English and is familiar with writing content for blogs. So I think those kind of cover that. And then you can come down here and say, how would you like to pay by the hour or a fixed price? In my particular instance, the blogs are going to vary. So I'm going to go by the hour and I'm gonna select entry level and you come down here, how long do you expect to last? I always try and hire people for longer term projects. If it's something short, I generally just go over to Fiverr and find someone to, to do those types of one-off projects, as opposed to going through all this effort to, to do something that's, that's a short task. The only exception is with you know building a new website, then I'll actually probably come over here. But other than that, I can find what I need on Fiverr, less than 30 hours a week, and then here we'll enter in our essentially job description. So we'll go ahead and type in what you need help with, what the freelancer will be doing. You wanna be very detailed here, extremely detailed. And then what qualities are you looking for? And I always like to talk about not only the skills, but also the type of person you're looking for. So kind of value-based traits as opposed to skills-based traits. If you have a file, you can upload and attach it here. And then you can get into freelancer preferences. So I'm gonna pause the video, I'm gonna go do all that, and then I will be right back. All right, so I've copied and pasted my description. You can check out my YouTube channel for how to write a description. I have a whole playlist going on how to, how to, how to properly write that. Here we're just talking about, specifically about how to actually upload the project here. So freelancers using Upwork.com and public searches can find this job, only Upwork users. I'm gonna select only Upwork users because I want someone with a little bit of experience with the platform. Uh, I'm not looking for random people across the entire web. I don't know how much that actually 
actually matters though. You can also do it just by people you've invited. So it's definitely a much more in-depth process in terms of going and looking for people. But I think it's worth saying only people on Upwork and then going and finding some people. So for example, I did a search earlier looking for, looking specifically for freelancers in the Philippines who met my pay requirements because I'm on a very tight budget for a writer right now. So I already have someone else doing other things for me. So I'm going to go through this list of people and you can see there's there's over a thousand of them. This goes to like uh, page 30 or something crazy like that and go through their profiles and, and pick out at least 30 or 40 that I think would be a good fit and invite them. So that way I'm getting people who are actively looking who I may have not seen and then people who I specifically picked out. And the Philippines, that's just, I've had good luck with uh, freelancers from the Philippines, so that's where I'm gonna go and spend the majority of my time. You'll find that uh, as you do this more and more, you'll find particular countries or regions that you prefer over others, and it's simply based on personal preference and culture. So anyway, I have two random people here that I chose to select freelancers. Uh, this will pull from the people you've saved and then preferred qualifications. This you can get really specific. Now this doesn't filter out people. This simply tells people the kind of candidate you're looking for. So you can go through and fill these out. I just said 80% success rate. I tend to be more lenient. I give a little more uh, credit to the freelancers versus the people who were evaluating them. And that's just because I I still work as a consultant and a freelancer, so I know how hard it can be to make people happy. <laughs> so I, I generally give them the benefit of the doubt, and then you can go ahead and do locations. Now in here, you can't necessarily make it super specific on what location you want, but you can, you can, uh, uh, Oh, you can at least choose the English level. So I need someone who's fluent, right? And, oh, no preference on that. And then screening questions. Now this is kind of a, this is a tricky one, but I actually recommend not doing screening questions. And here's why. When you do a screening question, all the freelancer needs to do to submit a proposal to your project is type in the answer to the question and then they're good to go. So you actually lose the opportunity to see their cover letter and how they respond specifically to your proposal. So the question essentially allows everyone to put in the same amount of effort into their proposal. The people who are really hungry or really resonate with what you put in your job description will naturally spend more time on their cover letters and you'll get a more customized response and proposal. So you want to be able to see that in people's proposals. So that's why I leave it open and saying they just need to submit a cover letter because that way I can immediately gauge their level of commitment or interest as opposed to them just filling in a question and then, you know, okay, they answer the question, everybody answers the question, and you can't really tell who's more, who's more interested or who's more committed than not. And now, the moment you've all been waiting for, I'm just kidding, we're just gonna go ahead and post the job now that we're done and ready to go. So it's gonna load, it's gonna post, it's sending the invitations if you had any. You can always invite people later, that's what I prefer to do. And now you can see your post page. So we'll come down here uh, to see the details. Here's my description, here's the what I'm looking for the freelancer to deliver with some helpful links so that they know what I'm looking for, then the quality, qualities, other skills that I'm interested in, and then of course, this is information, preferred qualifications, and then job activity. So I will hopefully be able to see some proposals coming in, and over on the YouTube channel, I will be coming back and doing another video just like this one in a few days showing you the proposals I got, uh, how well it worked, and then the process I follow for actually hiring freelancers. So this is just, just the beginning. So make sure to subscribe to the YouTube channel for more videos just like this one on how to build a online business from scratch.
So thank you for watching. I hope you found this video informative and actionable. If you got some value out of it, go ahead and hit that like button. And then if you're on YouTube, subscribe for more business building tactics and strategies, just like the ones covered in this video. Over on my channel, I've got a lot of things going on. I have a series going on showing you A to Z on how to build an online business from scratch. And then I have multiple videos just like this one showing you all the itsy bitsy little steps you need to take to be successful building your business online, whether that's putting together a marketing funnel or hiring someone to help with your blog writing or building your website. So I'm excited to have you join me on this journey of building an online business from scratch. Keep building that business that you love and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.